Let us see how the coefficient of correlation can be calculated and used for decision making with the help of an example. Frederick is the CEO of DHL Software Limited. The company is faced with the problem of frequent employee resignations. The CEO wants to determine whether the resignations are directly correlated to employee dissatisfaction. The HR manager suggests collecting a feedback survey during the exit interviews of employees who resign. The correlation technique will help us in identifying the factors responsible for employee dissatisfaction. The HR manager identifies four factors from the exit interview feedback surveys which may be the causes of dissatisfaction. These were lack of clarity of role, lower salary than industry standards, high workloads, and high level of monitoring. The HR manager wants to find out the level of satisfaction of the employees for each of these factors. Clarity of role. How clear were you about your role in the organization? Salary. How satisfied were you with your salary package? Workload. How satisfied were you with the workload assigned to you? Extent of monitoring. How satisfied were you with the monitoring policy of the organization? The HR manager asked each employee to rank each of these factors based on their experience on a scale from 1 to 5. 1 being not at all satisfied. 2 for fairly unsatisfied. 3 for satisfied. 4 for fairly satisfied and 5 for completely satisfied. The overall employee satisfaction is obtained by taking the mean score of all the ratings. Employee A gave his feedback. He was satisfied by the role clarity provided by the company, so he rated it at 3. About salary, he was fairly unsatisfied, so he rated it at 2. He was also fairly unsatisfied with the workload assigned, so he rated it at 2. He rated the extent of monitoring at 4. These are the ratings given by employee A for the four factors. The average of the four gives the rating for overall satisfaction. Similarly, the other employees gave their feedback and their overall satisfaction score was calculated. The average satisfaction score relating to each factor was also calculated. To identify the factors which are the causes of dissatisfaction, we calculate the coefficient of correlation of the ratings of each factor with the overall satisfaction rating. Let us first calculate the coefficient of correlation for ratings of clarity of role and overall satisfaction. The feedback given for the clarity of different roles is as follows. Let us see how to calculate Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation, R. Let us denote clarity of role by X and overall satisfaction by Y. To find the correlation coefficient, R, let us first find the mean of the ratings for clarity of role and the mean of overall satisfaction. The mean rating of clarity of role is obtained as 3.50, which is denoted by X bar. The mean rating for overall satisfaction is obtained as 2.96, which is denoted by Y bar. The mean rating of clarity of role X bar is then subtracted from each rating for the clarity of role. Similarly, the mean rating for overall satisfaction, Y bar, is subtracted from each rating for overall satisfaction. Multiplying every X minus X bar with the respective Y minus Y bar and adding it all up, 
we get the numerator value for calculating the correlation. In the formula of correlation sum of x minus x bar multiplied by y minus y bar is the numerator value. Now we take the square of each value from the column for clarity of roll minus its mean and then add it all up. Similarly, we take the square of each value from the column of the overall satisfaction, minus its mean, and then add it all up. Using these values, we can obtain the correlation coefficient. Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation, R, is obtained by dividing sum of the x minus x bar multiplied by y minus y bar by the square root of the x minus x bar square multiplied by y minus y bar square. The correlation coefficient r is obtained as 0 0.88.